pass to the far side corner. Mills a three. Got it again. Back to back trays for Patty Mills. And he ties the game leading points with six. Jazz lead by six a minute to go in the first. Left hand dribble to the top of the key. Flies it to the paint. Lays it up. Blocked by a flying walker. Kessler. Jazz get it back. Cody Williams on the board. Keontae George. Bank pass inside for Kessler who flams it. A full court game. For Walker Kessler, he gives the Jazz a lead 12 11 after his bombastic block. Wembenyama way back, left wing three. That's good. The alien has touched down with his first make in this one 9 3 Jazz, two and a half play. Markinen step back, right corner three. That falls. Filipowski straight away three. Got it. Kyle Filipowski, two for two so far, and it's a 7 0 Jazz lead. A minute 20 into this Thursday night Halloween affair. The Delta Center crowd is roaring as we welcome you back into the fourth quarter of the opener with the Jazz against the Grizzlies. And why shouldn't they be loud? Utah has got what was a 16-point first half to sit down to six. 102-96 Memphis the score. Eight minutes, 41 seconds remain in the fourth quarter. Your leading scorers so far in this one, both at 23 points. Lowry Markin for Utah and Santi Aldama for Memphis. Grizzlies inbound the ball, moving left to right from underneath their own basket. Scotty Pippen Jr. takes it up off a feed from John Conchar. Sends it outside to the right wing. There's Desmond Bain, charges into the paint, lays it up through some contact. No good, no foul. Jazz have the rebound. Jordan Clarkson marches back, sent it to Markinen. Now far corner three for Taylor Hendricks is good. One score game. 102-99, Taylor Hendricks trains it with 8.15 to go. Bain travels back inside, fires outside for Scotty Pippen Jr. in the paint. Feeds up top for Jalen Wells. It's three. Rattles out up the side iron. A loud eight minutes to go. Marketing drives into the paint. Off the glass. He scores. Through the foul. Jazz have not led since midway through the first quarter, and Larry Markkinen has a chance to tie the game with seven minutes and 57 seconds left in regulation. Twenty-five points with a seven-footer out of Finland. He settles in at the strike, down by one. Free throw to tie the game. It's good. All tied up at 102, 7.55 to go in the fourth. The Utah crowd telling Scotty Pippen Jr. that they want to stop him. He drives into the paint, feeds outside. Jay Huff fakes the three. Left elbow into the paint. Side arm pass out up top for Santi Aldama. Now Pippen Jr. overhead pass inside and Huff slams it. Memphis regains the lead, 104, 102, seven and a half to play. Santi Aldama was double covered up top there. He scored 23 points. He was drafted by the Jazz, but traded on draft night to Memphis. He's been there ever since that draft date in 2021. Foul called at the top of the key against Memphis. Looks like it's on Jalen Wells. That makes three on the guard. And it leads to free throws for the Jazz. Lowry Markkinen stepping up to the strike once again. He leads all scorers in this one with 26 points. Now he has an opportunity to chip back again. He tied the game with an and one on the last drive. Markkinen with pink shoes, toes the line and step, sets up. That free throw is good. One point deficit, he can tie the game again. Markkinen went home in the offseason to Finland. Keontae George joined him and trained out in his home country, living in Helsinki, to tie the game. He got it. 104, 104, 7.15 to go. Pippen Jr. meets Bain, left wing, tries to step back but fakes his shot and feeds back to Pippen at the top of the key. Contested three, off the back iron, rebound, pops around to Jordan Clutchin for the chance. Right to left goes Clarkson across the median. Seven minutes to go. A chance to take its first lead since the first quarter. 
Clarkson at the right elbow. Stutter steps outside to Markin and contested three. Out off the back iron, grabs his own rebound, charges it into the baseline paint. Now Taylor Hendricks throws up a shot. He's fouled. No good. Santi Aldama, the leading scorer for Memphis, guilty of that foul there. Probably a necessary one, as if he weren't in the way, Hendricks would have slammed it home. He's already dumped it three times in this one. Hendricks has a chance from the free throw line to give the Jazz the lead. He has 11 points across 23 minutes. First free throw off the back iron. Keontae George checks in for his off-season training partner, Lowry Markinen. Patty Mills steps out as well, and John Collins is back on the floor. Correction, Collins was going to go in, but Collins Sexton gets the tap instead. Hendricks, second free throw. That one falls. 105-104 Utah, 6.45 to go in the fourth. Scotty Pippen Jr. with six points crosses the timeline left to right. All alone, turn the ball in his right hand, drives into the paint, marked by Kessler. Sidearm pass to the wing, and it falls out of bounds. He tried to hit Aldama, but couldn't place it high enough. Tipped off his fingers and went into the Memphis bench. Jazz take the ball back, moving right to left. Full court press for Memphis as Pippen meets Keontae George in his own paint. George makes his way across half court. Six and a half to play in the fourth. Jordan Clarkson at the free throw line. Marked by Wells. Fires pass outside for George. Throws up a contested shot from the elbow. No good. George went flying out the baseline and missed. Jazz let the ball go to the Grizzlies. It's Aldama at the top of the key. Hunter hands to Bain. Step back corner three from the far side. He got it. Desmond Bain. Moves up to 18 points and grabs the lead right back for Memphis. Up two with six minutes to play. Colin Sexton near side wing. Grabs the ball in his right hand. Feeds Jordan Clarkson. His three-pointer off the side iron and out. Rebound Memphis. Bain has it. Desmond Bain has his third rebound on the game. Carries the ball at the top of the key. Jay Huff of right wing three. It's good. And Jay Huff has his third make from long range. That calls for a timeout and moves it up to a five-point Memphis lead with five minutes and 38 seconds to play in the fourth. The Jazz snatched a one-point lead, and just as quickly as they took it, they let it go. With that Utah timeout, we're going to head to a break ourselves here on SCG Media. Don't go anywhere. The thrilling finish to opening night basketball returns here at Delta Center in downtown Salt Lake City in just a moment.